Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining us for another interview in celebration of Student House's upcoming 70th anniversary in October. We are gathering marvelous memories and fascinating facts about Student House and reminiscing with former residents and Victoria League members associated with Student House. Today, my guest is Dr. Harshad Agrawal. Hello, Harshad, how are you? Jenny, I'm good, thanks, how are you? Oh, good, good, thanks so much for speaking to me. Let me tell you a little bit about him. Dr. Harshad Agrawal is a distinguished professional with a rich academic career and career trajectory. Having completed his PhD from Imperial College London, Harshad has established himself as a knowledgeable consultant within a multinational company based here in the UK. With over a decade of experience in his field, he has spent the last seven years in London, contributing significantly to the industry. Harshad arrived from India in the UK and at Student House in October 2017 to pursue a PhD in mining engineering from Imperial College London. He stayed at Student House for over three years and said it is one of the best times living there. The Student House helped him make friends with many fellow students from different universities, studying various courses from different Commonwealth countries. In the later part of his stay, he served as one of the student duty officers and as a member of the housing committee, working with Laura and Doreen to help students make their stay as enjoyable as possible. Beyond his professional commitments, Harshad is deeply involved in various societies, dedicating his time to fostering the growth of young professionals, students, and budding entrepreneurs. His passion for mentorship is evident in his active participation in volunteer work, where he provides guidance and support to those embarking on their professional and entrepreneurial journeys. His efforts not only reflect his commitment to his profession, but also his desire to give back to the community and pave the way for future generations. That's a fantastic bio. That's great. Let's go on to this. How did you discover Student House in the first place? Yeah, so when I uh, got an admin from Imperial College London, I was looking for some property uh, nearby so that I can commute uh, like by walking or you know, like minimize my transportation use. So I found this, which was like just north of Hyde Park and showed like a reasonable commutable distance to Imperial College. So that was one of the reasons why I chose Victoria League House. And then when I was inquiring like a bit more, so I got some good reviews about Victoria League House on internet. So I was like, okay, uh, this is the place to be. Good. And did you get a good vibe when you first went there? You liked what you saw? Yeah. So essentially, like uh, there was some student group communities on Facebook at that time. So we were uh, like uh, all those who had got admitted in Imperial College. So we were like looking for a fr a friends or like uh, someone to share our flat with. So the person I shared my room with in my first year, and he's still a very good friend of mine. So uh, we connected on uh, on uh, Facebook. And then he uh, was like, he had his uh, some of his friends living here. So in London, so they went and visited the house. It was like, okay, everything is, uh, you know, like good and because there are like scams going on so you're like not 100 percent sure every time like whether it's a legit property or not so but because he got it verified from someone who was living in london so yeah so that uh, improved uh, my confidence in booking the house no oh, good isn't it nice that you're still friends i, I guess you make lifelong friendships at student house don't you oh definitely definitely most of the people i made friends with at uh, victoria league house i'm still in close touch with them like if they are in the UK, so we still like uh, catch up every now and then. No, oh, that's fantastic. I, I am sure you have a lot of memories, but is there one or two in particular that stick out in your mind? Yeah, definitely. So, you know, I come from a Hindu uh, religion. So we like Christmas is there in India, but it's like not in uh, the shape that it is in the UK. And then at Victoria League House, we used to have this uh, Christmas tree decoration every year. And that is like one of the most uh, fond memory of uh, Victoria League House because all of the residents will come down and, uh, you know, we'll start uh, decorating the tree. And it will be like a few hours of uh, hard work and then the tree will look like uh, amazing. So very beautiful. Yeah, it's funny. That comes up a lot. A lot of people say the Christmas tree decoration is their favorite. That, that's that's a lovely memory. Um, You you were a st an officer, st a student officer at the... Do you remember what kind of role, what, what things you did at the house in that role? Yes, essentially, uh, the student duty officer role is more on like uh, helping Doreen and uh, Laura with covering of the office hours. So like uh, we used to rotate our rota. So on a few weekdays, we would be like covering the, um, you know, like if someone needs some help of the office hours once uh, Laura is off her office, then uh, they can reach out to the student duty officer. And it's mostly like being in the house to help other um, fellow uh, people. And if they have like any uh, 
any quick questions or like somebody's or otherwise something has gone out or something like that. So you go and fix those for them. But it, it was a fun experience because, you know, then in that way you get to meet more people because otherwise it's like, uh, okay, you're just sitting in your room. Otherwise, if you're going into some of the uh, events that uh, uh, Laura and Dorian keep organizing for the people, but even for those events, it's not like everyone turns up. So, so you know, being a duty officer, it's like a bit more chance to meet a bit more people. Yeah, that's a, that, that, that's a great opportunity. Student House is located in, in such a good area, London, Bayswater, um, and you were there for three years. <clears throat> is there a particular place that um, in Bayswater that brings back really good memories, a restaurant or a shop? or? So I would say the Hyde Park itself. Like I used to walk through the Kensington Garden every day to uni and then back. And then when I was at Victoria League House, I used to be like uh, running in the uh, Hyde Park and uh, uh, that uh, Kensington Garden area. So that's that's a place, you know, like it's just like at the uh, at your doorsteps, essentially, like it's so close and it's it gives you a vast expanse. And I'm a nature lover in general, so it would be like, OK, I'll just go walking or running or anything in the uh, Hyde Park area. Yeah, it's such a great location. We have such amazing, so close to some, such amazing places like like that. Definitely, yeah, yeah, yeah. definitely. Yeah. Um, and finally, I'm sure, but would you encourage um, new students coming to London from the Commonwealth countries to stay at Student House and why? Definitely. So many a times when someone reach out to me, if they have got an admit somewhere, so, you know, like either through LinkedIn or otherwise on any channel. So if they ask for an accommodation, so Victoria Lake House is my go-to place. And like, just just uh, just book a, a location in uh, Victoria Lake House. And many a times if they are like, uh, I'm like, uh, if they connect with me on some uh, shape and form and I'm like I'm happy to put in a word for you with Laura that uh, okay this guy has approached me and they are coming to stay there so just make if they have availability because uh, I know like sometimes they are like so busy that uh, they don't have availability and they have to say uh, send like apologies but um, yeah if they have availability so many times I have sent uh, an email to Laura saying uh, you know if you have availability this person reached out to me if you, uh, and uh, if you can uh, accommodate them. Well, then it's coming. It's coming from a great endorsement. Then obviously you liked it and you're happy to to do that. So that's great. Yeah. yeah and, uh, you know, like the overall uh, the vibe that I got at the student house was uh, like really positive and really supporting. So, you know, because uh, all the students who have come out for the study, so they are mostly in the same boat, like similar sort of feelings. And then if uh, because it is only for Commonwealth. So most of the events that we celebrate are also like, uh, you know, recognizable across. Back in time when I was living there, so we had a very huge uh, dominance from India. So, you know, if you're celebrating something Indian, uh, say any of the Indian festivals like Diwali or something. So it would be like many people will connect. And then many other people like say, I remember there were a few people from uh, Singapore as well. So, you know, when they have their New Year's or something, so they will bring in their festivities. And it's also you get to know about the cross culture and how different people celebrate their auspicious days. So... Overall, it was a very good experience. So that's why I'm, I'm like, I always encourage people to, yeah, go to Victoria Lake House. Oh, fantastic. Oh, thank you so much for speaking to me today, Hashid. Thank you for, for coming on. No problem. Oh, thank you. Thank you. And thank you, everyone, for watching and look forward to sharing some more memories with you soon.